tracks easy and not. Hey guys, I'm going to go and post this everywhere. I'm going to go and get this and mute it up. <clears throat> I'm going to wait to really say anything until, let's see, I got to be in view. <laughs> I'm like talking over here uh, until like I get people in here, of course. So I'm just not going to, well, I'll, I'll wait to say anything. Hey, Yaakov. Ya Yak. I have no idea how to say it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to be going crazy on either side. I just see too much overreaction going on. And I thought, gee, someone's got to come in here with a nuanced take. So I'm going to try and do that. this no matter what everyone can agree webcam needs something changed yeah that's going to be the primary uh conclusion that i have is that uh we got to be a lot more serious with um webcam play and hand staying in view and um warnings given and anyway just all sorts of stuff but i'm just going to go around and post this everywhere and wait for everyone to come join in. But it is 11.20 my time. There is zero chance I'm waking up at four in the morning. <laughs> I am sleeping in tomorrow. I can't get to bed because I'm thinking about this and everything that's going on. Um, so let me go post this everywhere. Either that or webcam can never have serious prizing or things tied to it. Yeah, I'm really worried about webcam right now. I'm worried that like today could just take down the format. Like what if the company just says, you know what? We're done with webcam. We're just going to do the major regionals and your local stores. They've already basically shut down Wednesday weekly webcam. We don't know what's going on there. Maybe it's just that they don't have anything to give away as pricing. Maybe they're trying to fix their shipping issues that they've always had. We don't know what's going on. But uh, yeah, the future of webcam, I think, is at least a little bit in doubt because um, of what is going on. All right, I'll wait just a few more minutes and then get into it. But basically, normally I go live at 5.15 in the morning or 5.30 in the morning. Um, it helps get me awake in the morning <laughs> is actually part of the reason I did it. It's also just as a father of two uh, who works a full-time job, uh, it is hard to find free time. Um, Although I'm good at finding free time at times, I probably shouldn't. So, but uh, you know, it's hard to find time to uh, make videos and things. And five in the morning is uh, the most peaceful time of my day. That's when you get to wake up before the kids wake up, read a book and do whatever you want to do, because then for the rest of the day, you don't really get to do what you want to do. So, but tonight I'm not going to be able to sleep. Um, so I'm just going to talk about it now. And I'm going to try and be really careful about anything that I say because I understand that anything I say is gonna reflect somewhat on the team. And I don't want any of my team members um, feeling embarrassed by anything I say or, or um, yeah, you guys get the point. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to reflect poorly on anybody in my team. Um, I understand as like the uh, team lead, uh, so to speak, that they would not want that. And I've thought it best to um, 
to just stay on the sidelines in this whole thing. Like I'm not saying anything in either direction. I am staying out of this. But there's so many inflammatory comments going on right now in all directions that it's just getting crazy. And I feel like, okay, I'm going to jump in, give my two cents. Um, honestly, might just do a deck profile after this because I, that's what I was planning to do in the morning. I was going to show you guys my Mirio list that I'm uh, planning on playing for webcam. The webcam regional this weekend, if the webcam regional this weekend even happens at this point. Uh, I think that's kind of in doubt. So, let's see. Honestly, I've been super on the fence about webcam. It's shaky, messy, and hard to keep things fair for everyone. At the same time, it gives us parents and folks that can't travel a chance. Yeah, it would be... If webcam goes down as a format, it would be terrible for everybody. Um, like, I, I can travel, but it is hard. This year, I'm traveling to all three events because there's only three events in the year to travel for. So it's going to be possible. I can typically like travel to one event every three months, but more than that, and I can't travel and it costs a lot of money. Uh, if you fly out of like Lubbock, Texas, it's a lot of money because you're not going anywhere straight flight. We don't get access to all of those discount airlines. Um, so a webcam is like, I, I have one local store here in Lubbock. Uh, Storm Crow Games, shout out to Storm Crow Games. But that means that every season I get to play in two local qualifiers. Storm Crow has a second location in Midland, which is two hours south of Lubbock. So I can take a two hour trip, play in another local qualifier, but it's hard to find time to do that. Typically like Saturday nights or date nights anyway. So it's hard to take the weekend to go play in that local qualifier. And then, uh, yeah, so I don't really get like in a points sense, and because I'm obviously I'm chasing championship points to make worlds, I'm at a disadvantage to players who have like four or five local spots. Like, like I know some people who are like, every single week I am playing at a local qualifier and they are going to be racking up the points, whereas I'm way behind. So I'm with you. I'm like dependent on webcam. Um, I'm dependent on webcam here to keep up with everybody. So I do not want to see this format die. Um, Okay, we got 15 of us, so I guess I will go ahead and get started. Let me just say at the beginning that um, if you are super against UBS games right now, if you're saying you're quitting the game and you're joining everybody else and going to Star Wars Unlimited, uh, or at least they say, and, 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 and you're ticked at the company, then, then anything I say right now, it's going to sound like I'm shilling for the company. If you are saying, I knew it, I knew Jose cheat, you know, cheated, I this is vindication, you know, you know, if you're one of those people, you're gonna think I'm shilling for um Jose. Like I'm not taking sides um in the situation. I'm just giving both both parties the benefit of the doubt because I recognize that as a third party, I have no idea what the hell is going on. <laughs> I have no idea. Um I can say that I've played Jose three times in major competitive events, um, 2022 Nationals, uh, 2023 Season 2 Webcam, um, Round 5, we were both 4-0 and at the time, uh, and then at Nationals. Um, and Jose's been nothing but nice. Uh, nothing but nice to me. I didn't see anything fishy in any of our games. Um, when I went to Worlds actually in February, like uh, he made sure to come and say hi to me because he recognized me from going to 2022 Nationals. At that time, I was really new in the community. I knew absolutely nobody. I traveled alone. That's not true. I traveled with my wife um, and and uh, my mother-in-law because it was my mother-in-law's uh, birthday that trip. So it was kind of a two-fold trip. I was going to go play. I was going to go play uh, cards at the World Championship. Um, and my wife and her mother-in-law were going to go celebrate their birth, her birthday in Vegas. And then we all got together sometimes. It was a fun trip. It was a really fun trip. But when I was at the actual event, I'm all on my own, right? I've got no friends, really. Nobody locals with me. Um, and Jose made sure to come and talk with me. Um, anyway, really, really nice interactions that I've had with Jose at all times. Um, that is not me saying there's no way cheating didn't happen because, well, I mean, like we, we see relationships all the time where a partner cheats on their partner and, and they always say, 
I never saw it coming. I never thought it would come from so-and-so. I never thought this could happen. So I'm not in the business here of saying like, it's impossible. I'm not saying it happened. I am staying as a third party. Um, but I'll just say at the outset that every interaction I've had with Jose has been good. And he's been really, really kind to me. We've played some awesome matches. And I'm kind of ticked because now Jose won't be playing in the webcam regional this weekend. And so if I just get really lucky, uh, play out of my mind, and win the whole thing, it won't even feel like I won because I didn't beat Jose. Uh, so as a competitor, that kind of makes me mad. Like I was saying on my earlier stream, you know what would really tick me off if, if Jose just retired right now and never played again? Because then it would be like, you would never feel like you truly won if you won a webcam regional. So that's kind of how I, <laughs> like, I want to play against the best of the best. Um, and from a competitor standpoint, that makes me really sad not to have um, Jose playing in this next weekend. Because now, I mean, now the whole thing has a dark cloud over it. If, if you win, it's, I mean, congratulations, but it's, it's kind of clouded at the moment. Um, yeah, so that is what I wanted to say just right there that uh, I'm not picking sides. It's okay, based on the community response, I don't think anybody else will be playing either. That's not true, I'm playing. <laughs> I am playing and I'm gonna have a good time, gosh darn it. Um, <laughs> hello, build three pass. That does, uh, I like to build five pass, but uh, take it. Um, yeah, I'm still going to play in the webcam regional. I'm So that's the whole thing. That This video is meant for me to be giving a nuanced take. Like I see people immediately shaming the company and leaving the company and everybody rioting. And it's like, hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. You can, you can be someone who says, I'm going to give Jose the benefit of the doubt and I'm going to give UVS Games the benefit of the doubt. It is okay to have a nuanced take. And I don't think we should be shaming people who have a nuanced take or shaming people who have doubts about something. Um, I don't think that's that's uh, healthy. Oh, it's Kyle. <laughs> All right, that's uh, Kyle Wright, a fellow uh, team member. Um, what's up, Kyle? Uh, I hope I don't embarrass anybody on the team tonight. Uh, that is my main goal is to do my stream and not embarrass anybody on the team. But um, don't let the company or any individual ruin enjoyment of the game itself. Exactly, exactly. Um, I have had to leave some discords um, personally because I love this game. People who say this game is bad, we're moving on. Well, you're crazy. You're, I mean, you're crazy. This is an awesome game. Um, and it really, really rewards skill. There's so many different directions in deck building. There's so many different strategies. Um, I'm telling you, I could play universes 24 seven all the time and I would have a very happy life. Uh, make a lot of friends, just have a happy life and uh, be a happy dude. So yeah, like don't let outside situations that don't affect you affect you. Like um, my uh, grandma would always say, don't borrow someone else's problems. Um, so as someone totally from a third party perspective, like I am just not going to um, let everybody rioting affect my enjoyment of the game. I'll be there this weekend and I'll be playing and I still plan to win. Um, well, I get people going to Jose's defense. I think a lot of people are forgetting that a nice friendly community pillars are not immune to cheating and B. Yeah, that, that's kind of what I was saying at the beginning. Like I, like obviously, someone's friends will come to their defense. I would hope that if UVS Games accused me of cheating, that my friends would come to my defense. I would be really, really disappointed if I had nobody coming to back me up. Uh, it's incredibly unlikely UVS Games made a move like this without thinking it through. Yeah, exactly. Like, like I am willing to give both Jose and UVS Games the benefit of the doubt. Um, I am not ready to just torch the company. Everybody's saying, well, what about all those bad decisions they've ever made? Well, they've made a lot of good decisions too. Um, the game has gotten a lot better in the last year. We're getting challenger decks instead of DLC packs. We got new IPs. We know all of organized play for the next year. We're back to this cool points system. 
Um, no more mechanically unique promos. Uh, I could just go on and on and on and on. So, like, uh, anyway, yeah, Kyle says, you're good. I faced Jose top 16, and I'll say I didn't see anything fishy. Doesn't mean it didn't happen, but I did not see anything he personally did. Yeah. Um, that's where I'm at. So, so let me just give you some backstory here because my wife will tell you that I am very, and frankly, recently way more good decisions than bad ones. Exactly. Exactly. Everybody just bombing the company right now and saying they're leaving for Star Wars, Star Wars. Well, good luck. Good luck finding a card game company that always makes perfect decisions. Um, and personally, I find tying your enjoyment to a card game to that of the company a little weird. A little bit. Um, I mean, it would be different if like Universus was like doing some truly terrible stuff at the top. But uh, like, I am not going to let other things get in the way of me enjoying the game. So uh, this is my favorite hobby and I intend to keep it that way. Um, let's talk about this. Let me just give like a... So I already gave you my backstory. Um, nothing but good interactions. Obviously, this is huge. We just had video evidence of someone else cheating. I was kind of bummed because they were in my chat on Tuesday morning. And now I've realized that they were cheating. Um, that's disappointing. The game has improved so much recently, I'd hate for it to crash because of this. Yeah, it's not It's not going to crash. Don't, don't listen to the loud voices screaming doom and gloom. Uh, they will always be there. Star Wars is going to die die in a week anyway, just like every Star Wars TCG lol. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Um, I loved Star Wars growing up. Sorry, I'm going on all sorts of tangents. This is going to take me like two hours to finally say the things that I want to say. But um, loved Star Wars growing up, growing up. But after watching Episode Eight, I have never watched another Star Wars show again. Uh, absolutely burned the bridge for me. Just uh, Disney had no idea what they were doing with episode seven, eight, and nine. They were switching directors. They were just like random plot points, characters getting forgotten, Emperor Palpatine's all of a sudden back in the trailer for episode nine. I never watched episode nine. I don't know if he actually, I think he, somebody said like he's related to Rey. Sorry, spoilers alert if you haven't watched Star Wars. Uh, that's why I haven't gotten into the Star Wars game. Yeah, everybody's saying that they're leaving universe. This is being um, a little silly right now. Um, in my opinion. I can't even remember where I was going with this. Um, what was I saying? I mean, listen, if if you're the type of person who's constantly rioting at UVS games and you're saying you're going to switch to a new card game, good luck because you're going to be constantly rioting over there too. You, you just are. Like, you can look for the good or you can look for the bad. And I choose to look at the good. And there's been a lot of it recently. So I, uh, yeah, that is where I fall. But you will find whatever you are looking for. And so people who want to riot and get mad at companies and do that, uh, you'll always find that. Me, I just want to come here and play a card game. Um, and I want to play a card game fairly with no cheating, which is what this is all about. Because uh, we got Jose accused of cheating, more than accused of cheating, banned for two years by Universus, but we don't have any information on why. Uh, and then we had video um, of Top 16, um, Omar versus Corey, and we can see cheating happen. Um, so there's definitely, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Let's talk about Jose because I um, did a little rant on Tuesday and looking back on it, I feel kind of like a jerk um, looking back on it because I said... I said something like, I'm ticked, Jose won uh, another webcam event. But that wasn't me coming after Jose. That was me from a competitor standpoint saying, I'm so sick and tired of one person winning every single webcam event. I never made any sort of accusations or anything. It was just me saying, man, I'm so sick and tired of the same person winning every time. Because like, hey, you win one, good job. You win two, that's incredible. You win three, you're a legend. You win six in a row. And it's like, what the heck? Um, somebody come and uh, beat this guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, it's like watching the New England Patriots or the Kansas City Chiefs, you know? Um, I'm a huge Chiefs fan because Patrick Mahomes played at Texas Tech, but felt like the entire nation was rooting for the 49ers because we're just sick and tired of the, of the Chiefs winning everything. 
Um, so that's kind of where I was coming at on Tuesday was, geez, I'm, I'm sick and tired of one person winning every webcam event. Um, it'd be nice for there to be some diversity. <laughs> you know what you did. Speaking of scares, you usually don't get public statement with clips from the company in question. The celebrity status of Jose aside, this is usually how cheating announcements go. That was one of my questions because they banned um, some guy named Connor in the UK last year. Uh, fourth kind player, I think he got second place. He got banned. As far as I know, I don't, I don't know what happened. I don't recall a statement from UVS Games. I just recall it going up. I don't recall anybody rioting on behalf of Connor. Um, it just kind of happened. Uh, obviously, this is totally different. Jose is um, the best player in the game at the moment. Uh, hard to argue with that. Hard, hard to argue with that. Uh, maybe, um, maybe we should say Nicholas because he just won the uh, Nick Reagan because he just won the uh, HLC. Companies handling it the way they should, other than Jose not being notified. Yeah, I don't. I have no experience with card games, card game companies, anything like this. Um, so I really don't know how they're normally handled. If this is being handled the right way, if it's being handled the wrong way. Uh, it's because all the previous bands, people knew the circumstances behind them. Yeah, that could be true. I just don't know. I don't know why Connor is banned. But uh, Konami states reason, one of the few good things they do. Konami's Yu-Gi-Oh, right? I don't know. The UK guy was caught on camera, and they said he was caught on camera. Okay. Yeah, and that would be the case for this top 16 match, too. We have it caught on camera. But, but with Jose, yeah, we're not being told anything. We're not being told anything. Soon he'll be streaming 24-7. <laughs> yeah, kind of hard to imagine one person winning six times in a row at a high level. Okay, that's where I wanted to take this next because my wife will tell anybody I'm a skeptic. She told me last night, just funny story before we get into this. She told me last night, she's watching TikTok, and she said, if they're ever throwing an ice cream party on a cruise <laughs> and giving away free ice cream, it's probably because they ran out of space in the morgue because people die on cruise lines. And then they get, um, uh, they need space. And so they clear out their ice cream freezer. And uh, I said, nah, that's cap. And she said, you never believe anything I say. Um, and I said, come on, they're not clearing out the ice cream freezer for dead bodies. Uh, there's regulations against that. Um, so then we looked it up and it looked like it was debunked and everything. Um, most of the time my wife is right, by the way. I'm just a skeptic of everything. So uh, I am a hardcore skeptic of everything. Uh, and I love to argue, but, uh, that's just my personality. Um, so yeah, so back to that comment, kind of hard to imagine one person winning six times in a row at a high level. I'm not going to lie that that didn't cross my mind several times over this, over this streak. Um, let's just think about it. It was 22 nationals, 2022 nationals, 2023 season one, 2023 season two, webcam warm up in December, my event winter clash. That's why this is so personal to me is because community members donated thousands of dollars to my event. Um, and, uh, I felt a, a, uh, deep responsibility to do right by that money. Um, and then, uh, what was the other thing? The wish tournament. Yeah. So there, there is six in a row. So it, it has crossed my mind. Like, um, that just statistically, like the odds of that are, are, are so incredibly low, right? But then you also have to take into account that Jose is just a statistical anomaly in terms of a player. Uh, he's got a beautiful mind. <laughs> he, uh, and he plays better than me. Um, I'm not going to pretend that I'm a better player. Um, so you have to take that into account too. So, so, you know, I mean, you hold the, like, I'm, a, I'm always a skeptic. So my brother was the finals um, in the December winter warm-up event. Obviously, I'm very, very excited for my brother. Uh, he's playing our Mirio deck that we both did really well at nationals. Um, I've always felt like I have to defend Mirio for some reason. I'm like his PR guy. Uh, like I have to prove the character. I, this is like all in my mind, you know, I'm sure nobody else uh, really cares. And then, um, so we both did well at nationals playing the same Mirio deck. And then he's playing the same Mirio deck, um, in the December winter warm up event. 
So I'm very excited because my brother's in top cuts. Uh, he's, now he's in the finals. I'm excited because he's proving our deck build yet again. You know, we only lost uh, one game, I think, in all of Swiss rounds at Nationals. Um, and now he's proving the deck again. You know, in scientific method, you got to do something twice to really prove the concept. So I was excited in that standpoint. And I was really rooting for Patrick because Jose's playing uh, Ryukyu. And I was like the number one Ryukyu denier. Um, and for that reason, I didn't want Ryukyu to win, right? You got to defend my takes here, uh, however bad they might be. Um, so, of course, I'm rooting for my brother. Um, but the deck just really didn't work in the finals. Uh, Patrick still wins game two. Honestly, should have won game three. Uh, if he had drawn any gas, he wins game three, if you go back and watch. Uh, he just had no gas, but it was entirely ready for the taking. And then uh, Patrick would have won the December warm-up event. But he didn't draw any gas, passed back, and gets beat. The first, what I do after this event is I went back, because at that point it's Jose's like fourth straight major webcam event, right? And just to reiterate here, anyway, I, I just went back and watched the games at half speed uh, because I'm a skeptic. So I watched the shuffling at sideboards. I think I went to 0.25 speed. Whatever the slowest speed is on Twitch, I went there. I watched the shuffling. I thought I saw some odd shuffle. I do card tricks, by the way. I'm, I do a lot of magic. Um, like I was that kid at high school, right? You want to see a card trick? Um, and you know, so I've got the double flip, the Elmsley count, the false shuffles, the false cuts. I've, you know, I, I, uh, I, I like anything playing cards. And so I used to do a lot of card magic, um, loved watching David Blaine and, uh, doing his tricks. But, uh, so I'm typically pretty good at seeing like if something is up. Um, so I go and watch at half speed. I feel like I might see something. I couldn't quite tell, so I went back and watched the finals, um, either where Jose was playing Death Eraserhead, and then I think I also went back and watched Toga, and I really couldn't see anything. Um, what I thought I was seeing against my brother didn't get verified when I went when I went back and watched the other games. Uh, so I dropped it. Um, I dropped it from there. I think skill is a big part, but there's a part of luck to the game too. I beat Goldberg and Nats, but got lucky in the following round, just with bad luck. So me luck does make some form in the game. Yeah, there's absolutely luck in the game. But typically the best players can play around it to where, like, on average, they're overcoming it. Uh, but definitely, like I said with my brother, if he had drawn any gas, he would have won that game. But he didn't, and, and he lost. So that was unlucky. Um, so I went back, because I'm a skeptic. I went back and watched all the shuffling at half speed. Uh, couldn't see... You know, I thought I might have saw something, but I but I couldn't verify it. Um, and that's where that went. Uh, and I dropped it. Um, and the other reason that I was really interested in that is because I was just about to host the Winter Clash. And at the Winter Clash, the community donated, I can't remember, I think it was like $6,000. Um, it was just nuts. I was out with my family. We were doing like mini golf uh, go-karts at this one place. And I got the message from, um, an Ohio player saying I'd like to donate $500 to the event. And I was just floored. Um, it's like, okay. I'll, um, and, uh, and then after he donated $500, everybody else started donating money. Um, and then it became like this real thing. So absolutely. I wanted to make sure that there would be no cheating at the, uh, winter clash. So I did do my due diligence. Um, that's not me accusing in any sort of way. That was just me doing due diligence to host a good event because I've got community members trusting me with thousands of dollars. Um, yeah, and that's the worrying part. It's a money event. Um, so, uh, and obviously Jose wins the Winter Clash over Mitchell, uh, fellow Unfun Stuff team member. So it's an all Unfun Stuff uh, finals. By the way, actually, I, uh, I lost quite a... I've lost people like somebody today in the general chat was saying, you're such a shill. You, uh, you can't give up your free box every set. Um, you're always defending UVS. Um, guys, I lose a lot of money 
uh, doing this. Um, like the Winter Clash had someone donate a case of Yu Yu Hakusho, two cases of Yu Yu Hakusho, uh, which goes for like $175 a box. Um, Chad, Chad Raffield, I believe. Um, a lot of money. Like I think we had $3,000 for prizes and $3,000 in terms of like product prizing between the two cases of Yu Yu Hakusho and the two cases of JetBurn. Um, so when I was going to ship out the prizing, the first thing I did when Chad shipped it to me, the boxes of Yu Hakusho, is I counted, I made sure I had the 12 boxes of Yu Hakusho, and I did. And then when I was going to ship the things out, because I actually shipped the prizing within a week, um, you know, UVS Games, it is possible to ship your prizing within a week, even if you have a full-time job and a family, uh, and just one person, you can, you can do it. There is no excuse for shipping delays. Uh, I had all the boxes and I realized I got the wrong type. I got the wrong size of box to put them in. So I kept them all in this room right here, my video room. And we have cleaners come and clean the house uh, every two weeks. And the next day was when the cleaners came. And when I got back with the right size boxes after work to ship everything out or to package everything up to ship out the next day, I only had 11 Yu Yu Hakusho boxes. I looked everywhere. Um, I kind of interrogated my six-year-old boy because I thought maybe there was a chance he took the box because there was one time with my Shoto Todoroki deck. Uh-oh, is my internet doing okay over here? Let me reload my stream over. So I kind of interrogated my six-year-old boy, like, come on, where is the box? <laughs> where did you put the box? Um, I really need help finding this box. I kept on saying, dad, I didn't do it. Dad, I didn't do it. Can anybody comment in here if their stream is giving them the circle here or if it's just me? Is, is my stream going okay? Can someone drop that in a comment before I keep talking? Not a skilled player and you could have just... All right, I am just waiting for confirmation on the chat that nothing's going on. that my stream is going okay. Okay. Seriously, I need someone in live chat. I keep reloading and then it keeps giving me this little circle thing. 